Welcome back to my channel guys, it's your girl Coco Styles and on this channel we talk about beauty, fashion, lifestyle and styling. Today I have for you guys a few pieces that I purchased from, I think it was the Outnet, I got something from Poshmark and Bloomingdale's. Um, and I got my jeans back from the tailor so let me see. So I got the, all three jeans back from the tailor and I'm gonna show you, she be throwing my pants all over the place, what she did. Remember the black ones were very big in the front area. So what she did was she, how can I say this? She ended up, I mean she she did a pretty good job, but I see she made a boo-boo on, um, on my pants, but it doesn't even matter. Can you guys see this little seam here? She brought the pants in because they were baggy. They were just slightly big in the front for me. Um, so I'll probably try these on for you guys so you guys can see how these are fitting me now. <clears throat> um, she also did, and these, the black ones are the ones where she had to do the most work because the others weren't as big okay so let's sit those there and then the blue ones that had like the slit in the bottom she took those in slightly like very very small in the back and if you guys don't know when they tailor jeans um uh it's right here i don't know if you guys could actually uh, let's see if it's gonna focus oh yeah right here okay so she took that in on both sides. <laughs> and then she did the same with the darker pair. Um, which fit me slightly different because they were kind of like, I don't want to say high waters, but I have a vision for them because they're wide leg. Um, but I'm going to try these on so you guys can actually see these. And you can see these as well. See right here. She brought it in on both sides. Listen, I don't have no big booty, guys, but um, my waist is kind of small and um, since I've been working out. So, oh, but she did a thing here, too. I didn't even notice she did that. Oh, she did. Okay. See, I, I can't even... Sometimes I don't see it. She actually put... A seam here in the front hmm didn't notice that in the store which makes sense because I didn't think I was like oh they fit good she did that on her own because she probably realized that they were a little bit big in the front um, but you can't see it <clears throat> but those are some of the things that I have to do as a tall woman now let me grab my new stuff for you guys and let you guys see the new stuff. Um, I'm gonna just move some of this stuff out the way so you guys can um, get a good a view. All right. So <laughs> I'm probably gonna put on a tank top because I can't put this ovary. So this is a jacket that I got from Poshmark. It's a vintage plaid jacket. Now, my friend has a Poshmark store, so I definitely purchased this from her. So now here's the thing about this jacket. This crap is a size 16. This is my second vintage jacket that I got. Um, and if you guys don't know, when you buy things that are vintage, the sizing is completely different from what we have now in stores. So a 16 sounds insane, but let me actually change my shirt. Let me put on something else so you guys could actually see everything on me. So give me a second. All right, guys. So I am back with the blazer. I'm going to step back. I have on a pair of the, um, the jeans. Um, these are the wide leg ones. I know you guys can't see the bottom of me, but it doesn't matter because I showed you guys in another video. But this is the blazer. Um, 
So you got okay. Let me show you guys the sleeves because the sleeves are like the funny part. The sleeves are like just hitting me. It's not my cup of tea, so I'm definitely gonna like roll them up. Um, I'll probably do. I don't know. These pants are pretty cool with it because they're like wide leg at the bottom. Um, and just keep it like really really simple. I want the attention to be on the blazer and not anything else. So let me just come closer. I took off my other earrings because it was looking a little strange. Can you guys see like the, the texture and stuff? Sleeves, I'm sorry, the um, the buttons. And you can tell vintage stuff because the buttons are typically like this, right? So this is that, I don't know, let me see. And as far as, listen, I'm, I'm the girl who will wear whatever I want, right? As long as I'm comfortable in it. Um, since the jacket is so bold, I would definitely probably, you know, dummy it down with something a little bit more relaxed as far as color, just so I could actually get the pop that I want with this jacket. And if I wanted, I can just do a sleek pair of boots. If I wanted under, I can do black. I can do, I can pull out any color from this. And what I'm gonna do is, I can probably try this boot on really quick so you guys can see it. Um, but then that means I have to turn my camera. Let me see if I can get a good setup so you guys can see it. Give me one second. All right guys. I actually just grab I wouldn't necessarily style it with dark boots um but since I'm here <laughs> and I'm in my new closet I'm probably gonna do just the dark boots with this so let's do that so you guys can see that I'm trying not to make this video super long but I just want you guys to see if you do purchase a vintage blazer Make sure you are buying the color, I mean the size. It's gonna seem kind of strange because the size is so large, but it doesn't even matter. And I think I should take off these socks. Hold on y'all, hold on. <laughs> Let's take off the socks and just throw this on really quick for you guys. Okay. So, these boots are the bomb. I got these from Charles, are these Charles David? Or is these Mark Fisher? I don't even know. But they're so supple. Okay. So, if you want it, you can do something like this. Um, very, very chill. Like, I'm the girl who, who wears what she wants to wear, okay? Um, like I said, I wouldn't do a dark top, but I wanted you guys to see the pants, um, how they, how they fit me now. These are a 14, I think. But like I said, she took them in here, she took them in in the back. Sometimes you just have to do that. Um, so that's the jacket. I'm gonna actually just throw on the sweater that I got from the Outnet. Listen, the Outnet is where it's at. Um, sometimes you'll find things that are, I don't know, you may think they're still pricey, but the price is so much lower than the normal price. <laughs> that you do feel like you hit the lotto. Okay? And I'm just I'm gonna keep these pants on just for the sake of the video. Um, but I would definitely style these with my leather leggings that I have from BCBG or some sort of pair of leather pants. Ooh, guys, this, listen. When I saw this sweater, I was like in love, love. And... It's an oversized, um, 
like I, I don't even know this material it's a helmet length sweater and let me see what the material is I don't even know let me see I don't even know but it's like really really soft I thought it would say it on here but it doesn't um, and it's white and black and all over the sweater it says Milano um, Helmet Lang um, Paris New York all the fancy places so it's an oversized knit that I am it's so soft guys oh my god what listen when you find pieces that you love ah uh, just buy them look at this this is like super, super, super cute. This is cute. You can tuck the front in if you wanted to. Um, if you want to wear it like that, you could roll your sleeves if you wanted to. But this is extremely cute. It's very chill. Um, something that I love. If I didn't want to wear these pants and I wanted to wear, like I said, my, my leather pants, I can dress them down with some moto boots and just some some black leather leggings and the, like I said the ones that I have are from BCBG I had them for forever I think they were like $300 but they were super long for tall women so what do you guys think about this sweater the sleeves are long so if you are a person who likes you know longer sleeves this is it and here's another way to wear this you can wear it off your shoulder you can just wear it like really just chill all right um this is plain i don't know i just feel like black will look better at the bottom and guys i would definitely do a pop of red lipstick so that's this this is awesome so what i'm gonna do is i'm actually going to leave the sweater on and i'm going to actually no i'm gonna take the sweater off so it doesn't clash Take the sweater off and we're actually going to put the the pants on now the pants that i just purchased they are from alc i showed you guys the, the chocolate brown pair that i have um i just did a video <laughs> on choc wearing chocolate color on my skin tone um it's not really something that i normally do at the top if I do something, uh oh, if I do something that is chocolate, I'm definitely wearing a lighter color shirt um, in front of it. So, all these things, okay, I'll say this. I'm not the girl who buys things and takes the bag. It's just not my thing. Um, but this, this sweater is it. I'm keeping this sweater. I don't buy things and take them back. The blazer we can situate that um and then now i'm gonna just try on these for you guys to see i'm gonna come a little closer i do have these in chocolate guys like i said i think the closer i get you won't be able to see the color but it's like um is this bone uh-oh so that sweater i'll tell you now it's gonna get all over you so make sure <laughs> whatever you wear you're okay with the stuff getting all over you and possibly my hair um this is what color is this i don't know it looks like a bone to me it doesn't even say but i got them on sale for like 167 or 180 or something like that the first pair that i bought i did get a size 10 and the first time i wore them your girl busted out the back i did <clears throat> excuse me but i was all over the place that day so i got a 12 this time and I'm going to show you guys how these fit me right now. So let's just take this off. I'm going to take off my shoes first. Um, but listen, as tall women, we need to start buying things that we love, right? We don't necessarily have to, what's the word? Get what, what only the tall girl brands have, right? Oh, God. Let me take off my shoe, guys, because I didn't put any socks on, so this is going to be... <laughs> I'll be right back. <laughs> All right, so these are the pants. Um, listen, 
These are super, super stretchy. And for whatever reason, these feel just as tight as the other ones. But these fit really, really good. If you are a tall woman, these are friendly. And there's like about an inch and a half that you can take down. Um, something like this, I can wear with pretty much anything. I can throw it on with something the same color. Um, I don't know if you guys know, but I love, love neutral colors. Um, I can do it like this. If I wanted to go for a full on, <laughs> a full on outfit with a nice light top. I changed my earrings back. This actually looks cute together. Um, definitely with a different top, but yeah, these are the pants. I need a, I need a, what do you call that, a waist trainer. <laughs> um, but yeah, these are, these are super cute guys. So that's everything that I got. Um, it wasn't a lot. I'm going to try on the pant, the jeans. So you guys can actually see the fit of the two, the three, well, I had the first blue pair on, the other two and how she actually took them in. So let me change and get back to you guys. <sighs> All right, guys. So here are the black pants. Um, she, this is what I think happened. I think she did the blue pants first and put the pleats in the front because the black pants were bigger. She did them different. So she actually pleated the front in these, which I, you can't even really tell. But she did these in the pocket, which probably, I don't know, maybe she was thinking. She's kind of, I'm not going to say she's learning. She's learning how this stuff fits me. So, but I actually really, really like how she did this. And if you guys can see back here, she took in about three inches. Um, for me, this is enough because I, who knows, my stomach will grow. Um, <laughs> but she did a really, really, really good job on these. Um... These pants, I'm actually going to wear with, I have like this Zara t-shirt. It's over there and it has like a little bit of green. It's old, but I'm definitely doing, let me actually, let me see if I can find it. Where is it? Oh, it's right here. I don't know. Can you guys see this shirt? Um, so it has like a little bit of green in it. <laughs> um, this is not an oversized blazer, so it doesn't fit me like, the sleeves are like really just right there. I could get her to take them down, but I know I'm gonna roll them up and wear a t-shirt under it, something chill, um, and just kinda, you know, thing. Can you guys see, I be hearing stuff in here. Can you guys see like the little bit of green? I don't know if you guys can see right here. It literally matches the jacket. So that's how I'm going to wear this. Um, as soon as I start going back outside. <laughs> so that's all that I have for you guys. I'm not even gonna try on the other pants because this was like the typical take in. Um, it was the blue and the black that were very, very, very difficult. Um, so we shall see the next pair that I actually do take to her guys. <laughs> so if you like videos like this, please comment below. Guys, I'm actually going to link the sweater. I'm gonna link the sweater. The pants might be sold out. And what I can do is I can link, actually Zara sold, these are from Zara. These are the pants from Zara guys. I think these are sold out as well. I do. And I wish, see the blue pair was supposed to be like this, but they, they weren't. They weren't like this, the black pair. But I'm gonna link the sweater. And of course the the plaid is this is um from Poshmark. Um but if I can find something similar, I would I would link it. It's probably not gonna be the same wool material, but something similar. And then I'll see if I can find if these pants are still in at Bloomingdale's guys. Those are a win if you are 5'9 to about 6'2 because there's still room to take out for you to get them tailored and let the hem out. So, that's it guys. I'm trying to get back into the groove of doing more videos with styling. Um, 
it's just literally getting into the groove of it and what's more comfortable for me and good for you guys so if you have any suggestions i don't know if you guys mind when you know people are in the mirror let me know that can get kind of tiresome i think but i don't know let me know what you guys think guys if you stay to the end of this video please comment coco we see you and if you are not following me on instagram make sure you follow me on instagram at coco styles ny and coco styles nyc and my style blog coco styles nyc and my style and services coco styles ny.com and i will catch you guys in the next one guys bye guys